with devices. So maybe I'm just a sexist. Are my eyebrows good, guys? I do not understand like makeup. But I'm getting better. I'm better than I used to be. But ugh. maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just sexist. Ugh, ugh. I can almost smell the bullshit in her breath. At this point, I think that just pearly things, or more commonly known as just lonely things, can be best described as being like herpes. Every time you think she's gone, she just pops up again. Disgusting, pussing, oozing with stupidity, and also f figuring out a way to blame women for how she somehow contracted herpes. Basically, just pearly things is so incredibly down bad. She's resorted to some of the most ridiculous uh, antics I've seen in quite a long time. I said it not too long ago, but I will reiterate just because of the truthfulness of this statement. But I give it maybe another month or two before Just Pearly Things is literally rubbing dog shit all over her face if it gets her views. Like, I, I don't know if she's serious in what she's saying or not, it seems as though she does believe to a degree what she's saying, but there's other times where I'm like, there's no way anybody can be this stupid. Um, maybe that's part of the reason why it's so interesting to listen to her because of the, the mystery, the enigma of it all, you know? Is she really this dumb? Is she pretending to be retarded perhaps? Dun -na 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 you know, it's like a big plot twist. It, it's, it's great, it always keeps you guessing, you know? But, I made the, uh, the, the sad mistake of scrolling through her channel not too long ago, and womp, 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 she is back on a self-hating brigade that I have not seen yet. She's chugging along the self-hate train, okay? She's, she's just choo-chooing down that track, and it's called Men Really Are Better Than Us. And at this point, the joke's kind of old. I'm not going to go into it all over again, but like, they, they always do this thing where... Because Pearl here is hopelessly, hopelessly stupid to the point that she's probably been inbred by two siblings that spent their entire childhood smoking meth and eating lead for dinner. Like, that's how fucking stupid she is. So just if she's really dumb, just if she's not able to accomplish much, she then takes her own failings and extrapolates that onto all women. So just because you suck, just because you're not better at anybody than at anything, doesn't mean that that's how women are in general. Just pick me things, take it away. Guys, I went to Whole Foods yesterday and I got this dress and I can't decide if I like it or not. It's a little big, but I kind of like flowy. Um, and it's funny, I always make fun of like the, I always make fun of the trad wives. And I'm like, this is kind of like a farmer outfit, but whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so I was thinking about how we often slip up as people right and we have all these phrases in language it's true that we often slip up as people i mean clearly your parents slipped up when they had one sad horrific drunken night in which they decided to have sex without a condom and nine months later poof the world was cursed with you that sort of slip up that is that's a catastrophic slip up right there we really feel so i was thinking about how an insult to a man is that he acts like a woman think about that why would it be insulting for a man to act like a woman, but it's- a That's a good question, and it's because of certain social social uh, attitudes that we, we tend to carry on. The, the notion, for example, that women are just intrinsically weak, so acting like a woman is therefore a bad thing, is a really, really misogynistic way to go about labeling things. I mean, I'm a, I'm a dad, and I have a daughter, and so it's really important for me that I'm never gonna be telling my son, also because I have a daughter and I have a younger son, I'm never gonna be telling any of my kids, you're acting like a girl or you're throwing that ball like a girl because doing something like a girl should not be seen as an insult. Because that's just, it's literally just saying, doing it like a girl is the bad way. Like, and the thing that you're saying makes it bad is because it's the way the girl does it. Like it's, it's pathetic compliment if a woman dominates a man's world. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? If a woman, for a man to act like a woman. But it's a compliment if a woman dominates a man's world. Isn't that interesting? 
I'm not interesting. So it's like we all. No, how is this interesting at all? <laughs> this is so not interesting. Have all these slip ups where we know that men are superior. Because again, I, I really, the more I think, the more I'm like, gosh, the natural world, world order has, has to be men, women, children. Maybe government. I haven't decided. I have to think more about that one. Really? If that's the case, then why have there for long, long periods of time throughout history been community child rearing in which there was not just the man ruling over the woman who was then taking care of the kids, but it was entire communities coming together to raise kids? If you want to go all the natural route, how come that was the way that kids were raised for thousands of years before? What about that? Hmm? Like, it's so stupid. All you need to know is literally just read a basic Wikipedia page and most of the dumb shit she says can be debunked. But maybe like a God-centered government maybe has to go about men. Because you have to submit like to authority, I imagine, for like peace and whatever. Like if in the army, you have to submit. You can't, you know, the police, you have to submit. So maybe it's government after God. But I was thinking about how- <laughs> Who decides which God? The government? Oh, I'm sure that won't be risky at all. <laughs> really? We know deep down that men are smarter because men that act like women are not regarded as smart. They're not regarded as honorable. And if anything, you'll hear- What? We know that men are smarter because men that act like women aren't smart. Wait, can we go back? What is it? What is this circular brain fuck that I'm experiencing right now? But I was thinking about how really, we know deep down that men are smarter because men that act like women are not regarded as smart. Because men that act like women are not regarded as smart? What? This, this, is, this is circular reasoning. It is a social way that we have constructed this. The notion that men are smarter and men who act like women are not seen as smart? I don't even know what that means. Act like women, how? Women, for example, are better at multitasking. That's a fact. Like mentally, the way women's brains work, they are better at doing more than one task at the same time than men. That is a fact. That could lead to being smarter in some circumstances. It could also maybe not be. There's nuance here. It's not that one side is necessarily intrinsically smarter than the other. It's not men versus women. You're acting like a kindergartner when, when you're all like, oh, boys versus girls, ew, cooties, ew, ew, ew. Have you grown up at all? Move on. What does it mean to be smarter? Smarter can mean all sorts of different things, but they've already done various different tests where they've taken multiple different women and multiple different men and they've had them uh, assess complex moral questions that would require a degree of reasoning and rational and logical thinking. And both the men and the women scored almost identically on all the questions. There was no significant uh, um, increase for the, the men's ability to think rationally over the women or anything of the sort. The only argument that we have thus far that women are not as smart as men is you, Pearl. And the, the conclusion there shouldn't be that women aren't as smart as men. It's that you're just not as smart as men. And not just men, you're not as smart as like the average slug slithering by outside on the fucking sidewalk. You're not regarded as honorable. And if anything, you'll hear trad cons shitting on the men that act like women. And I'm not even, you know, maybe, maybe we should, I don't know. But my more point is how, I wonder if this- what, what, Act like women how? Which aspect of, uh, are you considering this acting like women? See how they, like, they never give you that. They, they never tell you. How language really does tell us how we really feel about things. And it's interesting because- <laughs> What? Guys, language tells us what we really feel about things. First of all, Pearl, that's the point of, of language. You, you, you figured it out. Oh my God. You just discovered. Yes, Pearl, we have language so that we can describe how we feel about things. That's part of why we have language. I can't even, but you've cracked the code. Albert Einstein. Oh my God. Can, can we get like a cookie in chat over here for the, the newest? We've, we found the missing link, guys. This is the, the missing smart woman that links and, and proves us that men and women can both be smart. In this scenario, we do see how we really feel about men acting like women. And the funny thing is, people think I hate women, but I just like to live in reality. And men's beings, or at least the men we reproduce with, must be superior because they create everything important. You know, superior started... in what? They create everything important? If you're talking about trad life or trad wife, she creates the home and the environment for the child. If you're going the trad route, which you just mentioned, the trads, then that's one of the most important things you could do. Are you kidding me right now? To take care of the children, to take care of the home, 
to make sure that your child is living in the best possible environment while the man is off working, making money? Don't get me wrong, it's important to make money, obviously, but it's also really important to take care of the home. That's what you believe women should be doing, right? Or at least the trad cons do, that you seem to be appealing to. So why would you say they? it's just the men doing everything important? You don't think the, the caring for the children is important? <laughs> Looking into Madam Curry or whatever Curry chick um, that everyone regards as like this woman entrepreneur. And it turns out her husband worked with her. And after he died, she had like no breakthroughs. That's what I'm hearing. Um, no, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems to be like the same trope. So one successful woman needed the help of her husband. Maybe he was just really good with business and was advising her. What do you like? Why are you making this a man versus woman thing? It's so stupid. Women assist men and when they want to get more attention, like when the they want to like make a propaganda campaign out of it, they basically say that the women invented stuff. And I don't really know if we're meant for inventing, maybe researching or like, I mean, I'm sure there's stuff that we've invented. You guys see Wait, what? Women invented a bunch of stuff. I feel like she's kind of addressing a po like points I've made before. Let, let me go back. I don't really know if we're meant for inventing. Maybe researching or like we say that the women, when the they want to like make a propaganda campaign out of it, they basically say that the women invented stuff. They make a propaganda campaign out of it by saying women invented stuff. How is that propaganda when it's the truth? That is that's a that's a fact. You, do you know what the definition of propaganda is, Pearl? It's usually delivering information with a deliberate slant or bias, with an it, it, like intentionally to try and sway the mind of people. Just simply delivering a fact that women invented stuff is not propaganda. Jesus Christ, she doesn't even know how to she doesn't even know how to speak. She doesn't even know what words are, dude. And I don't really know if we're meant for inventing, maybe researching or like. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff that we've invented. You guys see what I, I mean? Yeah, you're known for inventing. You've, you've just invented a whole kind of brand new brain aneurysm that I can experience from your fucking stupidity. So thank you for that. I mean, like, just naturally, we don't do it as much. And it's not a hate on women. It just, we're better when we follow orders from men. Does that mean we're idiots? Yes, compared to men. <laughs> and it sounds... She's just making assertions, too. She, she's not, she hasn't justified that. You, you can't just say something and then expect to have like a logical syllogism like that. You can't just be like, women are happier when they are following men. I've given absolutely no evidence of this and I have not substantiated this by any stretch of the measure. So therefore, that means that women are idiots compared to men. It's like, okay, may, may, yeah, maybe in your little Delulu land it is. You're doing the same thing she's doing. Excuse me, please clarify. Off-world colonist, where's the study that women are smarter? Okay. According to an international team of researchers, although women have a stronger emotional aversion to causing harm than men, both genders engage in similar levels of rational thinking about the outcomes of harmful action. Women are more likely to have a gut level negative reaction to causing harm to an individual, while men experience less emotional response to doing harm, said lead research author from Canada's uh, Wil Wilfrif Laurie University. The findings are in line with previous research showing that women are more empathetic to the feelings of other people as men uh, compared to men, whereas gender differences in cognitive abilities tend to be small or non-existent. In a large-scale reanalysis of data from 6,000 participants, let's see, they examined gender differences in judgments about moral dilemmas. We found no evidence for gender differences in the rational evaluation of the outcomes of harmful actions, said the study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin. There you go. Thank you for asking me, by the way, so that I could provide my data. Women make better decisions than men's study suggests. Women's abilities to make fair decisions when competing interests are at stake make them better corporate leaders, researchers have found. The study showed that women are more likely to consider the rights of others and to take cooperative approach to decision making. This approach translates into better performance for their companies. Open the PDF, not the summary. Goodbye. You're blocked. <laughs> the, the, the unironically, you read, the, you read everything about the study and cited where the study was from and cited the author of the study, but because you didn't read the PDF, the study's wrong. It's super crazy when you say it out loud and people think I'm sexist. But I've honestly just been seeking like the truth about the world for years. I'm just a curious person. And the more I think- You're not seeking out the truth at all. You're seeking out a, a, a answer that has a heavy right-wing bias and slant that also has a very strong anti-woman slant and, and tends to align far more with red pill stuff. You are not at all some unbiased person seeking out the truth.
You're not. You're seeking out shit that you can use to justify your dumb beliefs. I know that everyone thinks I don't think, but the more I really just think about what works and what doesn't work. It seems like female-led societies don't work. It seems like female-led companies don't work. It seems like- That's a deliberate lie. We will go ahead and pull that data up then too. Companies in the bottom quartile, both for gender and for ethnicity and race, are statistically less likely to achieve above average financial returns than the average companies in the data set. Company in the top quartile for gender diversity are 15% more likely to have financial returns. So women in companies doesn't work, women-led companies doesn't work, but yet we see the more women there are, the better the company does. So that's a huge cope, wow. Females don't really invent a lot, and when they do invent a lot, they're usually just taking credit for the men's stuff. Um, okay, guess we're gonna have to go right back to the thing I was just at here. Grace Marie Hopper, one of the most influential figures in the computer science in the 20th century. Huh, that's weird. Wait, women aren't very smart or rational or reasonable, I thought, guys. How would they be so successful in computer engineering and computer science then? Huh? She wanted computer science to be accessible to as many people as possible, so she invented C-O-B-O-L, one of the first modern programming languages based on the English language rather than mathematical symbols. It became the standardized business computer language still used today. Interesting, okay, there's one. Stephanie Kwolek invented Kevlar, a virtually bulletproof fiber that has been used in everything from tires to bridges to fiber optic cables and hockey sticks. Heidi Lamar. The invention of Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth can be traced back to the frequency hopping communication system that Heidi Lamar pioneered during the Second World War. The system could guide torpedoes without being detected and played an integral part in Allied victory. So uh, that's just a list of a couple. There's a, there's like more on here too. Okay, let's just let's just leave it at that. You know, when they wait, they don't really invent stuff. Yeah, they do. They they do. The stuff you're using right now, it, it, you're using because of a woman. Um. You know, uh, none of this, all the women that are like these great women inventors or whatever just don't seem real. And it seems like most of the time when the women are- You don't seem real. Actually, I take that back. Your brain doesn't seem real. Doing this, some man around her was like, I can make way more money if she's in charge of stuff, if she's the face of it. And they realize that beauty is currency, beauty is attention, and therefore we can get more done. Then doesn't that mean that there's some value there? What, like, why are you then just completely giving it just to the men? If you're saying that there's value in beauty and attractiveness, then isn't that still a degree of value? Or I, what? I, I don't I like. I don't even know what to say. It's like trying to have a conversation with like a, a dementia patient. I don't even. I don't know. Okay, Grandma, that's nice. That's cool, Granny. Yep. Uh huh. With the women now, there's been female philosophers. There's been females that have made impacts in society. I'm not saying they haven't, but. Mm -hmm. It's just interesting because it doesn't seem like we really do much if we don't follow the natural order of the world and we're left to our own. What's the natural order of the world and which element of it? Should men start following the natural order of the world when they want to start raping people? Because that's pretty natural, right? To reproduce, to spread your seed. The natural world isn't usually uh, including consent. Usually animals are just kind of fucking, you know? Should, should we go that route too? Would that be better for society, Pearl? Probably not, right? eventually you're going to have to acknowledge that there are certain elements of nature or the natural order or whatever the fuck that uh, d don't lead to positive outcomes for human society. And as soon as you realize that, then you're going to have to establish why we should follow the natural order, quote unquote, about some things and not about other things. And then furthermore, how do you decide which natural order to follow and which we reject? Which one? Devices. So maybe I'm just a sexist. Are my eyebrows good, guys? I do not understand, like, makeup. But I'm getting better. I'm better than I used to be. But ugh. maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just sexy. Ugh, ugh. I can almost smell the bullshit in her breath. But this is just when I look at the world, this is what I see. So I don't know, guys. And and I realize they, the academics won't tell us when um, stats make women look bad. Like I said, the one out of 25 women do cam work. And Twitter corrected it without even asking me where I got my numbers from. And the funny thing was... What? Can't anybody put like a community note there? And also, what do you mean like they won't let you do it? When um, stats make women look bad. Like I said, the one out of 25 women do cam work and Twitter corrected- Wait, so because Twitter corrected one of your things, that means the intellectuals will no longer allow you to have any statistic that makes women look bad. Are you kidding me right now? Then why do the statistics show that it's really bad for kids to have single moms. Those stats make make women look pretty bad, right? Don't they? Don't they kind of at least? 
Why are those stats so prominent and easily accessible? <laughs> you're just making stuff up. You're seeking truth. No, you're not. You're living in your own little fairy tale. I did it without even asking me where I got my numbers from. And the funny thing was, if I included strippers, prostitutes, and women that accept sex from Instagram, the number would be higher, not lower. But the academic institutions know that they can't um, report on a lot of this stuff. Why is she whispering? Are the academics in the room right now? <gasps> Just like the door, just boom, 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 boom. And like in busts, just like a professor and behind him, like somebody with like a giant library book. And they're just like, we're here to bash your skull in. Um, otherwise, a lot of them will lose their life's work is what I'm hearing. And then like the, the liberals. Yep, that's definitely true, man. As soon as you post a stat that you're like, hey, this stat might make women look bad, like a percentage doing cam work or something. You're outed. You're done. <laughs> They'll hire a bounty hunter for you. The academics will make you unlearn what you have heard. Say source, that's a one-off. But then when you think more through it, you're like, I heard from this person, this person, this person. There has to be some truth here. It's not just fringe cases. No, you... <laughs> I can hear from this person, this person, this person that they've had an experience with God, seen ghosts, seen a fairy, been abducted by aliens... If we were to go your route, we'd be believing so much bullshit right now. Are you kidding me? There's, you're hearing it from all over the place, so there must be some truth to it. My God, the danger in that type of thinking is, is unfathomable to me. This is just, if all your friends were jumping off a bridge, would you do it also? Except intellectually. It's just the same thing. Everybody else around me believes in God. So I guess God is real. That is such a dangerous way to think. You would be accepting and believing so much nonsense. Do you know how many racist things you would believe? How many anti-Semitic things you would believe if you just went based on, well, I've heard it from so many different places, so there must be a hint of truth to it? And that's the problem, is the liberals made these institutions so they could give us these made up like fake sources. And you know, it's- <laughs> Dude, she's just going full cope at this point, man. Yup, that's it. The liberals, we've constructed our own institutions are fake studies, then why, do, why, why are the studies oftentimes borne out in the real world or based on real world data collection? Like, is that, is that pretend? Are the people in certain studies just fake? Like, what, <laughs> what about like uh, contracts with control groups and whatnot? What about evidence like that? D does that just mean it's still all fake? Just, just Alex Jones things. It's hard because conservatives will be like, facts don't care about your feelings. But really, nobody needs real facts. We just need to look at the world. And what we really see. Do we see, like, and even, I was thinking about this. I'm going to have a conniption right now. I'm going to break. I'm going to break down, guys. I'm going to die. Hunter Avalon just dying things now. What? <sighs> Did I just hear this dumb fucking bitch say that you don't need facts? You just need to look around the world? Okay, well, the world's flat. Yep. <clears throat> the world is flat, guys, and you don't need facts. Why would you need facts? Just use your eyes. Look outside. Does it look round? Can you lay down on your side and go on a big little, little poorly loopy loop down a big hill? No? The world is flat, you dummy. How many people who look like this are criminally insane? We, we don't need any facts to prove that. Just look around. I'm looking around, looking, scanning, scanning. <laughs> De -de 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 detected. Hey, look, guys, I've seen somebody who, based on my common sense and without any facts, I can just kind of look around. This person, I think, is criminally uh, insane. 911, please arrest this person on suspicion of uh, mass execution of brain cells. You just need to look at the world and what we really see. Do we see, like, and even I was thinking about this. Women take off their clothes before men want sex because we look around and the women are already taking off their clothes. Some women do. Not, not always, right? Are there some, are, do some women not do that? What's the statistic of, of women that do that? I mean, we've seen the stats, right? That at least if we're talking about teenagers, uh, uh, like even up to 19, I believe, it's like the, the rate of people having sex is going down. Their clothes a lot quicker before men are asking them for sex. You could argue maybe corn switches it. But yep, in person- that's, You know, that's been my experience actually. What's really strange is like, there've been a couple different times where I'll just be hanging out with a girl, you know, and because of uh, the rise of feminism, and um, the, the liberal woke agenda, um, suddenly these girls will just start getting naked in front of me and I didn't even ask them to do it. it it's, it's insane. To be truthful, it's, it's 
a horrible plague. I mean, to be able to, to have any attractive woman hanging out with me just decide to get naked randomly, you, you don't understand the trauma that that's been inflicting on me. You know, getting naked way before the men are asking them to get naked. So maybe we've been lied to about sexuality. Because what do I see? I see women dressing provocatively way more than men are asking them to. They want you not to believe what's in front of your eyes. And I'm not blind. And they will not they make- They want you to not believe. They? Who, first of all, who's they? What do you mean not believe what's in front of your eyes? Some girls are, are promiscuous. You could argue there might be a rise in promiscuity even. What is that? This doesn't mean women are not as good as men. Be blind. So, I don't know. I've just been thinking a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like the video. Bye. Man. She gets worse and worse every video. That was depressing.